Okay, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, out there that's been pushing this road in truth and in sincerity. We're approaching the end of Esau's kingdom. You know how we know these things? Look on alternative news media outlets and see for yourself what's going down. You know? There's a protest in every country that's uproars of the people in basically about damn near every country, man. Why? Because we're at the end of Esau's rulership. These nations are, these nations are getting tired of Esau's rulership and how they rule among the people. You see, there's nobody rejoicing right now because the righteous is not in authority. The wicked are the wicked are in authority, which is Esau, the so-called white man. So that's why we see these things coming to pass, and these things was written for our learning, because Yahweh Shah gave us warning signs of what to look for, you know. And those that's that's um a part of the hope for the elect, and those that's in the know, starting from the apostles on down, you know, we see the ends we see the end of Esau's um and kingdom coming to pass, man. We see these things coming to pass, so what we do, we go out there in season and out of season and warn the people. We put up videos throughout the week and tell the people what to look for, the signs of what to look for. So without further ado, I got a couple of precepts. I brought the Zayu I came out to be edified. It's um Matthew chapter 24, verse uh three. And as he sat, Yahweh Shah sat upon a mount of olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And us being in the know, we see these signs coming to pass. We see that Yahweh Shah is about to crack them skies, man, and bring death, destruction, and deliverance, which I call the three Ds, the triple Ds, death, destruction, and deliverance. We all know death and destruction is coming to Esau, the other nations, and the two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, they have your head jammed up Esau's white stink ass, man. But deliverance is coming to the one-third, the governing body, the fruits, fruits. But um, reading on, it says, And Yahweh shall answer it, and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Because you have a lot of wacky, tacky ass pastors out there that call themselves Christians that, that, that don't have a clue of what's going on, man. Don't know any breakdowns of the scriptures. They come, they bring out certain scriptures like John 3.16 or they may bring out a um a scripture um 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 trying to trying to um say that you can eat pork. See these things that's what these wacky tacky ass Christians do. So you being deceived by a plantation Christian, and you being deceived by a Renaissance Christian on that Renaissance Christianity bullshit, that's because the most I want you deceived. You know? And it's um and um Salaki, it says, um, and Yahweh shall answer the son unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Hamashiach. And she'll deceive me. And you had, you had that dude comfy. Saying that he was a God sent comforter. He deceived a lot of people man. So we're in that time. Where all these deceptions. All these um, wayward doctrines. Is going to start coming out. And now you got certain Israelite groups saying that. The offer of the microchip. Is not the mark of the beast. It's an embargo with Christianity. It's done with white women. You know. It's um. I mean. What else they say is that a white woman is um John 3 16, is an embargo with Christianity. You can you name it, they said it, man. Anything but what it really is, which is the offer of the microchip. And it's crazy, man. So it says, um, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. And what do you see going on, man? You got tensions rising with between um, Taiwan 
in, in the Chinese government. And Taiwan is actually a part of China, but they separate themselves. They're being protected by the United States government. There's trade wars, you know, and also tensions rising with China and America, India and Pakistan. There's, there's um, conflicts and frictions and tension rising over there. So you got kingdom against kingdom and nation against nation, man. Those are the wars that we see. The wars that we hear about is the wars that's taking place in Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, certain parts of, um, matter of fact, damn near the whole um, continent of Africa. They got different regions over there, but damn near every, it's a hotbed over there, man. With continuing strife and war. Those are the wars and then the rumors of wars, which I said a few seconds ago. Tensions rising with China and Taiwan over the disputed islands. You got um, tensions rising with Russia, you know. Also tensions rising with Turkey and, um, and Israel. The Israeli, them Israeli gutter rats that call themselves Israelis, but they cause us. You got tensions rising, man. You got all kind of... Also, I forgot to mention the war was was being engaged. It was being um, um, fueled by Turkey invading Syria, man. Erdogan, you know, doing what he's doing, man. So those are the wars and the rumors of wars. And what? We gotta be we gotta be on point with that. We have to really, you know, what we watch watch alternative news media outlets and then what we see on the alternative news, we marry it with the scriptures, man. That's our job. And once we marry it with the scriptures, we bring it out to warn the people. But if they hear, they hear. Whether they forbear, hey, that's your ass, man. But we here bringing you the truth, man. It says, um, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because the economy got to collapse. You got different prophecies that have not yet come to pass, man. And the main prophecy we're looking for is the offer of the microchip also that war with Iran, you know. Which Esau, you know, he likes to call it um, the War of Armageddon. Slack, he had to call it World War Three. slip of the tongue, but we know it as the War of Armageddon, man. And these things have not yet come to pass, but they're creeping up the corner, man. They're creeping around the corner. Soon they're going to be right in front of our face. The mandatory um, microchipping of the people due to the economy collapsing. Or some kind of created state of emergency that they're gonna that they're gonna call a state of emergency, but it's also but it's all actuality is it's martial law. The beginning of Jacob's trouble. See, these people have not a clue what's going on, man. We tell you, we we, we have one of y'all, man. We telling you what's gonna come down the pipe. It says, it says, um, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye even not trouble, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And we see that. We see we got famine going on for the, for the economy is doing bad in Venezuela. Also in Brazil, we have um, a manufactured famine. That's coming to the shores of America. Why? Because he saw the so-called white man is going to declare martial law, or as he called it, a state of emergency. And there's no trucks that's not going to be able to come in, and no trucks not going to be able to go out to deliver any kind of goods. Then, all hell going to break loose, man. That's when you're going. That's when you're going to start having, you know, a large, you know, um, amounts of killings, rapings, and that's going to bring forth pestilence, which is diseases, you know. From bodies being laid in the street, you know, decomposing. Hey, man, shit is about to get crazy out there, man. We telling you, man. And these things that has been told by Yahweh Shah to the disciples, man. And we them disciples, man, coming back in the reincarnation. Now, we telling you what's going, what's coming down the pipe, man. And what you need to do to avoid these things, man. It says, um... And earthquakes in diverse places. So we see earthquakes, we see fires. You got we got um uproars of the people. We got wars, we got rumors, we hear the rumors of wars. Hey man, shit is hitting the fan, man. Shit is hitting the fan. 
You know? It says, all these things are the beginning of sorrow, which is Matthew the 24th chapter, the 8th verse. All these, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Because we know, according to 2nd Ezra 8 and 50, many great miseries are going to be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And Esau is a proudful devil. But you got two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're also proud. Hey, man, we're approaching that time, man. These right here are the beginning of SARS, what we see going on throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Because like I said, damn in every nation, there's uproars, man. Chile, Lebanon, um, Venezuela, which we don't really hear about no more. Haiti, you know. Clashes going on in Beirut, Lebanon. Hey, man, damn it, just about every country, there's an uproar. There's an uproar. And that's how we measure the times, pursuing the second edge of the ninth chapter, the first verse on down. We measuring the times by what we see on the news, alternative news media outlets, and we marry with the scriptures. Hey, man, before you know it, all that, whether it's manufactured chaos, or people that's being straight fed up with the American government and the governments that Esau run throughout the four corners of the earth that they starting to up that they that the, that they uprising and you know and bring forth that sedition among men and you know doing what they have to do, man. Because Esau, the wicked, is in the rulers, is, is in the um, power seat. And there's nothing going right, man. See, all he's doing is spreading wickedness. Hey man. <laughs> It's time to wake up, man. It's time to get right. Because, huh, we see these prophecies coming to pass. For each day that pass by, you turn on the alternative news media outlets, such as um, Press TV, Russia Today, the Russia Insider, you know, news outlets like that, we see the uproars, the earthquakes, the fires, you know. We see the famine. We see the wars. We hear the rumors of wars. We see that the United States government is divided down the line and, you know, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, man. And we see this. Esau's kingdom is circling a drain. It's, it's circling a drain, man. So, um, with that, I'm going to close it out. And, um, once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.